Hey y'all, uh, it's me again, okay, so today I kind of uh, got upset y'all, and it, it's, it's kind of like my fault, but um, not just my fault, it's, it's me and my husband's fault, and now I'm a daughter, because <laughs> she's of age, she's 18, no, she's 19, so it's our fault, okay, so we have a dog, Ginger. And when we moved in this apartment, um, the ladies in the office were a little too friendly with the people. So, um, they didn't, um, charge us to put the dog on the lease. And so now, four years later, they, um, they want us to go ahead and pay the deposit and get this, the rent for the dog. Um, I'm not too upset because like I said, it is our fault, but it pisses me off because it like, it, it gives us no this is a money grab because it's everybody over here has a dog right our dog never goes outside because she's afraid of outside when we got her she she was afraid of outside right she if you, if she would go outside she'd get so scared and she's trying to get back home trying to get back to our place she would run you know and my son would have to chase her to get her to come on to go home. But I say that to say, y'all, please, if you have pets and you treat them as family, you have to go the whole way. I should not have let these ladies get away with not adding our dog to the lease. And I didn't um, think that they would the new people would come and be like hey you got a dog so yeah they need to be on the lease and you need to be paying the money <sighs> y'all we our rent has gone from us paying like eight hundred and five dollars being on public housing not public housing we were on um, Harris County housing in Houston. My husband, he got like three raises in one year, so his income shot up. So when it came time for us to renew <laughs> with the housing office, they was like, you know, hey, your income, it exceeds what we allow. And boom, okay. Although his three little raises, and I'm saying little because while it is raises, it doesn't help us get dreams. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It doesn't really help us get out of um, where we're at. So we went from paying eight hundred and five dollars rent when we first moved in and now we're paying monthly fourteen hundred dollars including well the rent is um twelve hundred ninety five dollars and along with the water which is it always exceeds a hundred dollars so it's like the highest it maybe maybe a hundred and fifty something dollars um i only know when i see it y'all i don't i don't my husband he looks at it more than me i don't really care because i'll be like it's ridiculous to charge water but i'm i'm from you know back then so but yeah, y'all, um, I just feel kind of bad because even though I love my dog, I have to figure out what we're going to do. I know it's easy to say, well, just pay the deposit and everything. Yeah, they want they want that deposit, but they also want some back rent. And 
we're, we're not in a position to be paying that much back rent. We've been here four years. This this will be four years. Um, no. So, I'm kind of pissed off. Because like I said, we're not the only ones. And this is for, this, they sent it out um, to everybody, I guess. Um, but they sent it in a text message, but they didn't send it in the app or email. They sent it through phone text messages. And I think that that was because the uh, maintenance guy. And my husband just texted me saying they can't get any more overtime, <laughs> which I already know. He already knew, so that's, you know, we already know. But yeah, y'all, it, it's kind of messed up, and I got to fix it. So y'all pray for us in Little Ginger because it's her fault. No, I'm just joking, but she barks a lot, y'all. She really do. People pass by outside, in front of the door, ginger barks. You knock on the door, ginger barks. They ring the doorbell on the on the camera, ginger barks. Like, it is crazy. Um, I have to keep both locks locked. Um, because maintenance will walk in your apartment. <laughs> Even though you have put down that, don't just walk in the apartment. Just, I mean, somebody, we're always here, basically. Somebody is always here. I'm always here. Um, my husband, he goes to work, and when he comes home, we're, we're always at home, okay? So, that's crazy. Um, I don't understand, but... Uh, I and it's like we can't even rectify it right now because these people the office closes at five well we may get a chance to now because they took overtime so he won't be working late so maybe we can rectify it Monday and see what's going on what they are trying to do and everything because I feel like come to me and I can give you, you know, I could tell you whatever, but yeah, I don't know what to do, y'all. Honestly, what do you do in this situation? And I have family, but um, our family don't deal with animals like that. Um, I mean, just my lease is up February. <laughs> and yeah, like, wow, either that or we just break our lease. We find somewhere to move and break our lease, just move because we, we don't, like, I don't, I don't know, y'all, because I never had a dog growing up or anything. I got this dog, my auntie passed away, I got this dog, but he, not healing some type of miracle drug or nothing but uh dogs make people happy and when i got that dog i did see a different you know i've I seen the happiness that she did bring into the household so yeah now i gotta figure out how we're gonna keep her ass <laughs> So thank y'all for listening to me ramble. It might not make any sense to y'all. You might think I'm crazy because it's your fault, but I know all of that already. But thank y'all for listening. Bye.